Iraq's prime minister says his country's intelligence operation has uncovered a plot for an attack on subway systems in the United States and Paris. New York police authorities are holding a news conference right now. Let's listen in live. Plans that are planned far in advance to significantly increase our activities, particularly in the subways, where the initial information seemed to focus on the subways. Subsequent reporting or clarification of the Prime Minister's remarks clarified that it was not specifically focused on subways, but we err always on the side of caution and preparation. So we have put throughout the by boroughs of the city, uh, 450 subway stations, significantly increased resources. Every precinct Panda was notified immediately and began having their sector cars check precinct stations throughout their tours of duty throughout the city. Additionally, we brought in all of our emergency service officers that allowed us to increase our normal complement of Hercules teams that you see in the city so that we now have Hercules teams. Those are the heavily armed officers with the Kevlar helmets and the dogs in all five boroughs. Additionally, transit has a number of their uh, operations where they will be checking bags at se several stations to detect if any explosives might be coming into the system. We have also notified our 13,000 security partners, the directors of security for most of the major companies throughout New York, about the initial information and what we are doing in response to it. Additionally, our Lower Manhattan Security Initiative, the 7,000 cameras that we operate, that has also been enhanced with additional uh, observation. We have held over the, uh, a number of our officers from the day tour going into the evening hours till we get a complete clarification that the Prime Minister's remarks, in fact, did not have any credible information that U.S. and New York City intelligence services were not aware of. At this time, that uh, the people of this city should feel very comfortable and secure moving through the subways. Uh, we were on a uh, train loaded with a lot of uh, Yankees fans heading up to Yankee Stadium to celebrate the retirement of number two. And we'll hope the weather cooperates and they get that game in tonight. We will have additional security certainly in and around the stadium and on the subways going into the stadium. But at this time, and I want to thank uh, my colleague from the FBI, the director of the FBI office. He was attending the funeral with the mayor and I, and we were immediately able to uh, come together and ensure that our counterparts back here in the city were moving forward in a very co coordinated, collaborative effort. So again, Mr. Mayor, I thank you for, uh, uh, for putting this together very quickly to just allow the opportunity to reassure the public that uh, everything is fine here in the city. Okay. On topic questions only, please. Well, again, let's be clear. I think Commissioner Bratton said it very powerfully. We've received um, information that has not been verified by United States intelligence agencies or by the NYPD. So it's not news until we find something specific. Um, but we're certainly going to look at what the MTA needs to be secure. There's been close security cooperation between NYPD and MTA. And uh, we will work together to determine what kind of resources are needed for the future. But it's just, I haven't seen the specifics of that plan, but it's the kind of thing we work on all the time. Again, I'll, I'm going to defer to the commissioner to explain what some of the specific measures we put in place are. And in fact, I want to say to the people of this city, uh, you may be asked to open your bag. You may find that there are some spot checkpoints set up. Don't be alarmed. It's just part of ensuring that we're doing all we can as we gain more information. You may see more police presence in certain sites. That's all part of the pattern to responding even to the possibility of some heightened activity. But uh, until we have something we believe is credible, uh, we're not going to use all the measures we might use if we were to have a credible threat. Okay. I can uh, give a few more specifics about what we're doing. That You're all well aware of the CIV units, our critical response vehicles that we have here in the Manhattan area, that a number of them were immediately deployed to various transit hubs here in Manhattan. We also, throughout the city, had a very high presence because of the Jewish high holidays around the various synagogues and other areas and temples, and that presence will continue. 
We are holding over the day tour of the officers, in excess of 100 some odd officers who are assigned to those critical response vehicles to ensure that we have additional coverage so we get total clarification of the Prime Minister's comments. We also have our transit uh, anti-terrorism units uh, going to be conducting at certain locations the bag inspections, that where they do the wipe to determine if there's any uh, explosives that might be detected. Additionally, we have deployed a significant number of vapor detection dogs throughout the system. These are dogs that are capable of picking up uh, explosive-related scents. So we have brought all of those dogs in, and you may see additional dogs as you move through the subway system. We have uh, also effectively uh, put out a number of surveillance teams that Transit has at any given time. We are uh, effectively enhancing what we already had for this week because of the high holidays, UN visit, President's visit. Live coverage on News Channel 8, the mayor of New York City and police officials responding to rumors of a subway attack. They can't substantiate that. In the meantime, 